You're not going to drink that, are you? <clears throat> it's way too early for for Sophie. You got drunk again. No. Nah. Yeah, maybe. I don't remember. Do you remember making love the other night? I haven't heard from you since then. I, I didn't think you were that kind of a guy, Paul. I am. I'm that kind of a guy. I'm a terrible guy. You can ask anybody. I'd rather ask you. What's wrong? Nothing. Feel better? Oh, well, yeah. I'm a new man. Listen, I'm really sorry that I didn't call. Uh, something came up, and... Uh, You have every right to be angry. I'm not. Well, I can never be angry. Never. Ever, never. You should never say never. What happened between us, Sophie? Well, it should never happen again. Hi. We needed each other. We still do. Paul, I'm good for you. Two people don't make love the way we did unless there's something very powerful between. a kind of a low point and I took advantage of you. No, I didn't feel and, taken advantage of that. Well, that's very sweet, but that doesn't make it right and it doesn't mean that it can ever happen again. We've been attracted to each other for a long time. You can't deny that. And I had plenty of time to think about what we were doing and when we were finally together, it's what we both wanted. Paul, Paul, there's nothing stopping us now. Why should we be alone and miserable when we can be happy together? I want you, Paul, and I know that you want me. What the hell is going on? I gotta talk about it with you. That would have been a very serious mistake, Paul. You know, I... I realize that you lost Meg, but rebounding with Sophie is not the solution. This girl is very vulnerable. She's desperate to feel needed and loved, and I know you feel sorry for her because I do too, but you can't let her think that she's got some kind of a future with you. Mom, I've done nothing to lead her to believe any such thing. Well, good. And stop this before it gets worse. And on those uncertain terms, you let her know that what was about to happen will never happen again. Okay, you haven't told me yet. Are you going to stay away from Sophie or not? I am not talking to you about this. Paul, you're still in love with Meg. Admit it. She took out a restraining order. Well, I can understand why you'd be angry, but this is no way to react. Hello? Oh, it's my attorney. Hello, Mr. Bill Blowers. How are you? No, no way, no. I don't care about it at all. I don't care if I do go to jail. I have no intention of fighting these charges. Just plead no contest. Really? Really? Fine, I'll be right there. I have to go to the police station? Well, I'll go with you. No, no. Neither one of you can help me. Sophie, the best thing you can do for Paul is to leave him alone. No. No, I can't. He needs me. Honey, he is in love with another woman. Meg is no good for him. You can't stop him from feeling what he feels, Sophie. I can stop him. Because I can give Paul what he needs. Meg never will. Tell the DA I won't fight the charges. I don't care what happens. I just want to get Paul, this whole thing over. All the charges were dropped. How? You lucked out. And here's the person you have to thank. Meg Snyder's here. Guess again. I'll go finish up the paperwork. You dodged a bullet, so don't blow it. Well, I never thought I'd see you riding in on a white horse coming to my rescue. This was a business decision. Sending a partner to jail could tank the whole real estate development. I could not do that to the Snyder's. Oh, come on. 
You wanted Meg to think you walk on water. Well, speaking of Meg, the restraining order against you is still in effect. So keep your distance. Sylvia, I've been involved with so many men that I thought that I could change, and it never worked out. You can't save Paul. He has to save himself. You're asking me to give up on him. That is the one thing that I can't do. So, now you're Meg's little pit bull? Meg has a restraining order, so don't go near the farm. I'm still developing her property. I will handle the work site. Meg is off limits. If you go anywhere near her, you'll answer to me. Uh, give us your John Hancock and you're out of here. Paul, oh, are you okay? We can't let them put you in jail. No, no, I'm, I'm a free man. Everything's fine. Oh, thank God. I was so worried about you. Oh, I'm going to be just fine as soon as I get some fresh air or a drink. Or maybe a throw up. Paul, oh, wait. What, Sophie? What do you want? What? What? Did they drop all the charges? Yes, I just told you. It's all over. Oh, that's great. That's great. We should go out and celebrate. No, I don't think that's a good idea. No, I, I think we should just spend some time together. We have a lot to talk about. No, Sophie. I've already said everything I have to say to you. Sophie, I don't want to hurt your feelings, but my life right now really sucks. And Take care of yourself. I'd rather take care of you. That's not... Look, you're... You're so young. Why don't you go out and play? Don't talk to me like I'm a little girl. I'm a woman. I know that. You're a very attractive woman. So why don't you want to be with me? Sophie, the best thing you can do for yourself right now is stay far away from me. as the world turns. Now, Paul Ryan is in violation of his restraining order. Arrest him. Liberty, it's your dad. Open up. Um, don't, don't come in. You know, I, I'm naked. Do you remember me? Because I sure remember you. Oh! <laughs> Holy cow. Juicy Janet. <laughs>